have you ever had the question asked of you, how do we know we're getting a return on investment for our workplace violence prevention intervention program? Or how do we know in so many words that the juice is worth the squeeze or that we're actually having an effective program or something that gets to that question? Well, I hope to answer that for you in this video and give you some different things that you might be able to incorporate. I'm Jake Newton. I'm with CPPS and want to talk to you a little bit about how you can measure the effectiveness of your violence prevention program, how you can gather some information so when your leadership comes down and starts asking questions of, you know, how valuable is it and is it working uh, or does it make sense to invest in a program like this uh, within your organization? So this is a question that we get routinely and so wanted to try and answer it for you so you can be able to use the information in your day-to-day -day endeavors. Ultimately, and unfortunately in one way, you have to have a program in place if you intend to actually start measuring these different things. If you don't have a program, there's no way to capture the data that allows you to understand that uh, you're, you're getting reports or that reports that are received are being effectively managed uh, or that people are responding to training. There's a lot of different variables within the program, but you have to have a program if you intend to capture any of this information Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to pull any kind of data that helps you identify this information. You know, you can look at things like workers' comp claims, but that's only one small sliver of a much larger picture within this process. And so we're going to break this down a little bit, but first you need a program. So just briefly, if you don't have a program, I encourage you to check out all of our other videos that talk about what's included in building a comprehensive program. But that really is one of the foundational blocks. Without having a program, it's very, very difficult, if even possible, of trying to, com to comprehend or identify this different information. But briefly, one area that you can begin to look is at recent studies uh, recent cases that are out there of the different things that are getting tried in court. So if you have been investing into this program and you've spent X amount of dollars and trying to build one, well, a lot of cases now, especially now, are beginning to uh, have pretty significant dollar figures attached to the trials when these things end up going through. So I guess ultimately you have to decide for yourself as an organization is, is that just the cost of doing business? But then there's the opposite side of this of, well, you know, there's also the moral responsibility to ensure that we're doing what we can to protect our individuals. There's a lot of different cases that you can look out there that are now in the in the tens to hundreds of millions of dollars uh, for some of these things. And that is a significant amount of, of impact that it can have on an organization. Uh, and then beyond that, there's the immeasurable cost. How much is it impacting the brand? How much is it impacting like the stock value if you're a business and those sorts of things? So those things can be pretty tough to measure. Uh, but again, once you start building a program, then we can start looking at some other things. So understanding that we have a comprehensive program in place, we have a policy, we have a reporting mechanism, we've trained our individuals, we've trained managers and supervisors or leaders within the program on their specific responsibilities. We've got a threat management team that's designed for overseeing the program and managing incidents and performing threat assessments and behavioral threat management over time. We've got a senior leadership team that is well involved in all of these different things. And we've got all of the different capabilities to be able to capture this information. Well, now, how do we capture this information and what information do we capture so we can start measuring this ROI? So ultimately, um, you have to have a good reporting system and then you have to have a good classification system that you can look back on in order to identify what kind of information you're receiving and how that information is handled in other words, what is the outcome at this point in time based on the information that we've received? So what do I mean by that? Well, a reporting mechanism is one of the foundations of a program. So reporting is where all of this information is going to go in terms of somebody reporting their concerns, of course. Pretty self-explanatory. However, how are we maintaining this information over time? Uh, do we have a record-keeping protocol? And now there's even some beautiful software out there that helps facilitate this but then how are we classifying this? Is it uh, perhaps a domestic violence type issue? Is it uh, employee versus employee? Is it a customer related issue? And starting to break it down and having a way to classify these different reports that are being generated and then identifying one, what happened with it? 
but also what was the management process of this case so we can identify if it was information that was able to be, for lack of a better word, a win within the program, you know, supporting prevention efforts. So we have to have a way to capture this information and classify it so then we can look back on it to be able to get those analytics. So that's a really important piece to be able to do this. The other big way that we can do this is by training. So if you have a baseline of individuals that have not yet received training, after you implement this program and you've trained individuals, you can test based on the learning outcomes that you would expect to see of people that have completed training. So uh, if you're giving everybody in your organization an awareness Well, there's a basic understanding that they should have from that to be able to recall what those reporting mechanisms are. You can ask that in a question or do a survey. And then based on the success of that, you can measure that your program is in fact effective. If you do more high level training that, you know, is more in depth, well, then you can start looking at potential behavioral change as well. But based on the training that is received, we can look back and survey our population and identify this is exactly the difference between those before we started training and the impact of this after we d- conducted training as well. Now, it's it's a natural thought to be thinking that after training, you're probably going to get more reports as well in a way that can be an indicator, but that may not necessarily occur. So what we can do is measure that understanding based on the information that was provided and identify that people are actually recognizing and learning based on what was provided. Now, here's what you're not going to be able to do for this. Workplace violence prevention at this point in time is not something that we can put on an actuarial table, measure the risk, and and focus on that risk. Human behavior is dynamic, and so we have to be looking at, do we have a comprehensive program in place, and then can we look back and identify the outcomes of these different things that we implemented and measuring that against history before that point in time. So if you were at one point in time measuring based on workers' comp claims, have those gone down or have those stayed the same, whatever it might be, then you can track those different things over time. So hopefully that's a little bit of a high level overview and, and, a, and some good information to be able to start identifying these things. But it, ultimately you have to you have to build a program, you have to implement it. And then as you start building and getting this information over time, you can start looking back and pulling it all together to be able to analyze and identify based on the investment you've put in, whether it's by man hours or dollar figures, whatever it is, to identify how much of a, an accomplishment or how much of your goal you're meeting having done such things. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, until next time.